Konnichiwa, beautiful people. Look how grumpy Minnie Me is this morning. We are going on a hike. Apparently, Mr. Chef Lisa doesn't want to be in the video. He ran away. <laughs> We're going to have Minnie Me try on her her little hiking off. boots. Yes, she is going to need socks. And actually, I would like Mr. Chef Elisa to come over, if you will, and explain why these socks are so important. Because apparently, I didn't explain it last time, and I don't know why they're important. Um, I listened and bought what I was told to buy. So, ooh, purple. So we're going to start with purple, and while I put these on your feet, Dad is going to explain why these are important, okay? Okay, so for those of you out there who may not know, uh, I'm Mr. Chef Elisa. Uh, I'm also uh, active duty military for almost 20 years now, so lots of hiking in my past. Um, not, not the fun kind, the, uh, the forced kind. Uh, so most people by default whenever they buy socks whether or not you realize this is what you're getting you're buying cotton socks now this is good for normal day-to-day -day function you know uh, maybe a mile or two walk you know going to the grocery store even going to the mall not a big deal not gonna be a problem but whenever you're going for longer distances or carrying a heavier load say your child or uh, a heavy military pack you're, you're gonna be more substantially exerted. Now, what this is gonna translate to, no matter whether it's hot, cold, you know, going through ice, your, your feet are gonna sweat. Now, the sweat is gonna translate to soaking wet socks. Uh, it's also going to mean that your feet are going to be getting a lot more friction and like hard rub uh, that's going to translate to like hot spots and blisters over time um, Particularly if you're not changing your socks frequently, which I don't know about you But in my normal everyday civilian life, I'm not carrying three pairs of socks in my back pocket So wool socks on the other hand, uh, which is what uh, Chef Elisa is talking about and putting on mini me right now uh, these um, are a lot more resistant to water absorption, which means they're not going to be as wet uh, over time, which means less hot spots, less friction, and coincidentally, they're a little bit thicker too than your typical cotton socks. So what this is going to mean for you is that uh, your feet aren't going to be moving around as much inside of your you know, shoes, your hiking boots, whatever it is you're wearing. Uh, it's going to translate to a better experience for you and your feet although sore and tired, aren't going to be battered down where every step feels like a fight. I hope that helps. <laughs> Did you catch all that? No, not one. Me yet. neither. Okay. So we've got like three fingers of too much space right now. At most, you want like one finger because whenever you're hiking, your feet will swell a little bit. Um, so you want that little bit of extra room in there yeah, so it's that's... not tight. And so that way you're not impacting your toenails whenever you're hiking, uh, like going downhill, mm -hmm. especially, that's when it's more common. Um, so some room is good, but they are nice. I will give it yeah, that. Yes, those are... Like, uh, if this was the right size, this is absolutely what I would want her wearing for a hike. So these are the other ones I bought. We tried the Timberland on last week. <laughs> we'll just bring it right on here. I didn't know I had that Ooh. access. The world is your oyster can. I'm not sure about these ones. These ones are not as wide here. I have a feeling that these ones over time will get too tight. Oh yeah, I can already feel it right here. They, they're gonna get too tight. I can already feel it. I can tell you right now, these are not it. So I'm gonna return these ones. These are the ones that we tried on last time. These arm feel amazing. They're nice. They have a nice um, wide toe box right here. You don't have to worry about my feet pinching over time. We're gonna try these out for our hike today. We are gonna go get ourselves some coffee. We're gonna go do this hike. Uh, I don't think it's a very strenuous hike. I have my shoes that I'm going to be keeping. I think Miss 
mini me they're the same brand so we just got to get her the right size um but i think we're going to keep those ones for her too mr chef elise has decided he's going to use issued oh yeah he's going to use issued <laughs> boots, not even so. a question <laughs> he's my military ones oh. yeah for fuji so more power to him i whatever um steve holt we do, he is gonna share the wool socks with me though, so we might need to get another package of those because there's only five. And this is gonna be a two day thing. Mm, yeah, only um, one more package for two adults. These are waterproof shoes though, so my feet should not be getting wet. Thank um, you. No, that's not a thing. What? What? Dad looked like, when I said waterproof shoes, that's not a thing. I mean, it's from the outside, yes, from the inside, no. Your shoes are uh, <laughs> my feet get wet. Because your feet sweat. Yes, that's exactly right. Hence why you want the wool socks. Or right, connecting so we'll, dots, people. <laughs> we'll, we'll order another package. For this last week, two weeks, I think it is now. Yeah, it's two weeks. We missed last week's video. Um, I did not get any uh, core workout in, so on that goal like that did not happen i want to say i went up the stairs let's say 80 percent of the time not 90 percent of the time so on that i did do a whole bunch of stairs outside of the house though i went all the way up the stairs at the aquarium and let me tell you that is a lot of stairs um one of the employees that works there was actually giving me applause when i made it to the top i'm not you joking. didn't tell me about that before yes i did but, that can't be right uh yeah he was actually clapping and cheering me on by the time i got to the top because it is a lot of stairs and i was absolutely dying I did that like all the stairs at the px like i've been i've been doing all the stairs instead of like elevators out in public um but I haven't been going up to the fifth floor as regularly as I probably should have. So I have been eating breakfast and I have been eating lunch. So that's good. Um, those are okay. Um, I think those were my only goals. So I did not do the core workout and I did not do the 90% of the stairs that I wanted to. I'm gonna keep those two goals. I'm not gonna add anything else this week. Um, go ahead and keep working on those so that I don't get overwhelmed. So that was kind of an abrupt change, but I wanted you to see the map of the hike that we're doing. It's a beautiful, beautiful hike. It was up at this national park, about an hour and a half, two hours from where we are in Courtney. So quite a drive, but as you can see, it was absolutely gorgeous. The rock formations, the trees, it was so pretty. And at the top of this particular trail, we had this amazing view. Look at this view. Oh my gosh. Just absolutely gorgeous. And bring some yen. They had those one of those little telescope things. So this has been updated on January 31st, 2024. And it's all about planning your trip, which is where I'm at right now. I'm in the planning stage. And... This has a lot of information on it, so I'm not going to go over the whole thing. Obviously, you can come to this website yourself, and you can definitely look at all of these things. However, there is some stuff that I wanted to go over. This still has the 2023 dates on it, and it keeps saying 2023. I was under the impression that by the end of March it should have updated for 2024, but it's still not there. So, right here, this is where we're at, the climbing plan flow chart, and we're right here on preparing your body for climbing. So this is exactly where I'm at right now. For beginners, we recommend getting your body used to hiking. So this is what I've been doing. I've been doing hikes, and I've been doing other things to get ready, the going up the stairs, etc. So this is this is what it's saying. So it's saying it's gonna take six hours to go up the mountain, not including breaks. So that's it's four point two miles straight up. So yeah, that's 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 great. 
<laughs> um, there are 19 mountain huts though, so we are going to be staying at one of those. And it is the most crowded, so there is that. We did talk about... Um, so that's the physical requirements, right? So we're we are definitely we're definitely doing that. And the learn about Mount Fuji, that's what we're gonna start next and all this. We're gonna start doing all of this very soon. We have started looking into dates and honestly, because it says right here it's open July first to September tenth, so that's we know that already. So we are trying to find out when to go. And I think we are looking at Labor Day weekend at this point because if you look here, avoid traffic jams, the traffic jam and times. And again, this is for 2023. So these dates are a little off. Mountain Day is on August 11th every year. So this year it is on a Sunday. Last year it was on a Friday. So that weekend of Mountain Day is going to be the most crowded because Mountain Day here in Japan, I don't know all the ins and outs of it, but Mountain Day would be all about honoring mountains. And of course, Mount Fuji is a wonderful mountain and to be on Mount Fuji on Mountain Day would be very good. However, we want to avoid traffic jams. Also, way down here, we are preparing equipment. So I wanted to go over equipment shoes right here okay so i did find the shoes that i want these are the ones that i purchased so you can see they're 89 dollars and because i am a plus size woman and i do have wide feet every pregnancy my feet has gotten wider i decided to go with men's hiking boots and these boots actually i really really liked them i wore them for our hike uh way up north and they did great even on the first, the very first wearing, they did fantastic. No blisters, no hot spots. They were very, very, very good. And because I'm planning on wearing the wool socks and I'm planning on my feet swelling, I went ahead and ordered my regular size in women's, which is nine, in the men's, and I got the wide. So that is my trick for finding shoes that will be very comfortable. They're wide mins. So these are, they're not too expensive either, $89. They came pretty quickly even here in Okinawa. These are what I would recommend. I'm gonna put a link for these in the description. Just didn't like the way they fit as much as the other ones. There's nothing really wrong with them. They just weren't great for me. So, you know, they might be better for you. It's, you know, shoes are a very personal thing. I did the exact same thing, the nine wide. However, right here in the toe box, they felt a little tighter than the other ones. And that is where I'm the widest, like it's, I've got a, a nice wide toe box there. And I noticed that if it pinches here, my feet start to go numb, so I didn't want that. These are a little more expensive, and so I'm just, I'm gonna send these ones back, and we'll see, uh, we'll be using the other ones. Mini Me, I went ahead and I got these ones. They're just a little too big. I need to send them back and get her a size or two down. They're no cheaper than the adults, so don't. I like that they're a little bit high here, a little bit high protect her little ankles these are very good they're the same brand as the ones I'm keeping Timberland is a great brand and so I feel very comfortable with her having these on for the socks these are what I ordered for myself and mr. chef Elisa we both got these these I got the large and I believe so for the large the it says women's 10 and men's eight and a half to 12. So I got the large on purpose, however, because I didn't want it being pinching or uh, pulling anywhere near my toes. I wanted the, the space in my toes as well. And they work really well. I haven't had any issues with them. We went on that hike. It was great. 
they do not have the compression right here where it says compression support they don't have any compression in them because I got the larger size which is just fine for me I don't need the compression they worked very well for my hike my feet didn't overheat my feet didn't really sweat like they were they were great so I would definitely recommend these socks for mini me I got her these ones I don't believe I found the same exact brand these ones do not ship out here in, to an FPO I had to ship these to someone in the US and then because uh, Mr. Sheffield was already there he put them in his suitcase and brought them over but these for some reason these did not would not ship over where the other ones did and the other ones were also wool so I don't know why these wouldn't ship and those would but that's okay uh, she really liked these she had no issues with them she also wore them on our hike very similar to what I I have in the adult uh, not really any big difference just a different brand I believe because I couldn't find a children's in that brand so hers actually came with six they're a little cheaper they came as a six pack she's good she's going to take all six on the hike with her and because mr chef lisa is a marine an active duty marine he is very very well educated on foot health and he is going to be our feet police while we are doing our hike and so we've got our shoes and we've got our our socks so we're good there so the rain gear now it says right here the wind is very strong on Mount Fuji and highly durable climbing rain gear is recommended so we don't want in an umbrella and we don't want an inexpensive vinyl raincoat so I did get a nice raincoat um, unfortunately it says here 22 and I received a 26 I don't think I've ever ordered anything from this brand before but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to exchange it and see if I can't get the proper size I will like in just a second here you'll see me trying on the 26 so I definitely think it's a little too big it goes all, all the way over my hands it doesn't on my hands there it's got a ton of extra room a ton of extra room it just feels really big it looks awfully big over your shoulders too yeah the seams are way too low on your arm they should be more towards your shoulder uh, it does have zipper pockets so it does have a hood that can cinch down looks like it's pretty good size too not like just a, a hood for show but no it'll actually go over here so the rain's not like just dripping off straight into my eyes yeah um, overall, it's a very good coat. The quality is great. I love the color. Windbreaker. We want a windbreaker. One, just to keep the rain out, but two, to keep the wind out. So, from what I understand, when the wind, the cold wind comes right at you, it's awful and it's miserable. So, this would help keep us dry and help keep that wind out. So, I am going to... Um, so, water. We have some really good camelbacks that we've had for years. We may buy some new bladders for them. That's what they're called on the inside, the bladders. But we do have, the three of us each have a appropriate sized camelback that we'll be taking with us. So we're good there. So the energy foods, we will be talking about that soon. I'm going to be coming up with some good, some good snacks that we can take up there. But this is probably one of the only times they're telling you anything that has high calorie high carb high salt foods are good so that is what we're gonna do and so um, trash bag so we're gonna have that obviously we will take the trash bag with us that's not a big deal cash so I'm glad they brought this up because I would not have thought about this cash so right here small change so when you go and you look at the toilets, they're going to tell you that some of them require that you pay to use the toilet. And everything that I've seen so far is about 200 yen. So I'm assuming it's going to be 200 yen per person per stop at the stations. 
So we will go back and we will calculate that. We will calculate how much it is per station, per person for the toilets. And we'll make sure we have that for the toilets. Okay, so down here, other things, a hat, sunglasses, sunscreen, all very important things, right? Ultraviolet rays are strong on Mount Fuji. Ultraviolet rays can cause fatigue, so sun protection is important, okay? A map, okay? Trails are not a single road. Check where you are on the map while walking. Walking poles, we plan on purchasing walking poles when we get there because those are the ones they brand at each station and you can show off your walking pole with all your brands. Now over here is the interesting part. Tape, string, rope, etc. They offer a quick fix for separated soles when your shoes are broken in case the shoe soles are separated. So they're saying in case the soles of your shoes come off, make sure you have something to fix it. Never a bad idea, right? So down here it gets a little... Uh, a little terrifying. So Mount Fuji is classified as an active volcano. Hikers are advised to bring the following items for an unexpected eruption. So in case the volcano literally erupts, bring a helmet with you in case of a sudden eruption. Helmets will protect your head from falling rocks and injury caused by falls. Okay, I'm going to read that again. Bring a helmet with you in case of a sudden eruption. Helmets will protect your head from falling rocks and injury caused by falls. Okay. Helmet free lending service. So they have where you can just rent one. You pay a deposit of 2,000 yen per helmet and then you, you get that back when we bring them back and there's no damage to them. So we might just be doing that. Um, I just, that because we are doing the Yoshida Trail. So I don't, that might be what we're doing. A dust mask can also fend off dust when you're trekking down the descent trails, which become dusty. So maybe we'll have a dust mask and a dust goggles. We'll look into those. I'm not really sure, but that kind of terrified me. When I started reading that, I wasn't really, I wasn't really, uh, expecting that. So, anyway. Hi, everyone. So this video was really challenging this time. Partially, I think, because Mr. Chef Elisa is home and I just don't have the free time in the evenings that I was having before. Um, I think it also has to do with just the week off and then going back into work and deliveries and I just I'm not really sure but this was a really really challenging video and I apologize for all the abrupt changes and everything however I am going to keep going with these I'm going to keep trudging along I am going to keep trying to do these every week it's it's not the easiest but I am committed and we are going up this mountain I don't I don't care what happens like we're going up this mountain stay tuned I'm going to get the hike all done up I have a couple videos in mind for that and I'm gonna get those up and it'll be much shorter and much easier to follow so if you even made it this far into the video I appreciate you and I will try to do better next time and I will just keep getting better. I'm working on learning editing and all that good stuff. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I appreciate you. And we'll see you next time. Bye.